What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. All new year, 2023. I've already dropped my first video of the year, which was a tour of the collection, and I'll link it below. I really don't like linking my videos, but since that was the first video of 2023, I'll link it below. We've got a lot of plans for stuff that I want to do this year. I'm not really sure, timeline-wise, how often I'm going to be dropping videos and whatnot, but... If I'm able to, I will try to drop a video a week. If not, it might be a video every couple of weeks. And this is one that like, I really want to try to get out as soon as possible because I enjoyed the living hell out of the story. It is genuinely terrifying. This is the first manga I've read in a while that like I feel that is like genuinely terrifying. And like I've read some pretty screwed up stuff. You know, like I've read Jagan. I read Jagan in Spanish and I've read a lot of different stuff. Like Gantz and uh off the top of my head, I can't think of anything that's like super duper scary, like Berserk. I'm reading Berserk. I started reading the first volume of Berserk. I'm going to do, once I hit volume, once I've read the first two volumes of Berserk of these hardcovers, these hardcover versions, I'm going to be doing a Let's Review. I'm probably going to do a Let's Review every two volumes or so. I'm not really sure how many chapters each volume collects, but yeah, I'm going to do them like that and try to drop a video every maybe couple of months or something about Berserk. But that's not what we're talking about here today. We're going to be talking about... A series that, like I said, I found genuinely terrifying, and I could not wait to finish it so that I could do this. I've been writing my Let's Review about it. My, I've been writing my script about it, so we're going to have all of this ready to go pretty soon. Hopefully, I'll be able to get this out by by next Friday. Today is Thursday, the, what, 5th? And then, by hopefully, by next Friday, I should be able to drop this video. So let's do this. I'm going to say a bunch of stuff and show you some panels and I hope you like this video. This is the first let's talk about of the year. And then, yeah, like I got so much other stuff in the works. So this is PTSD radio. So I want to start this off by saying this manga is legitimately scary. So much so that the mangaka himself, Masaaki Nakayama, was interned in the hospital with severe stomach troubles. The story goes that the mangaka had moved into a new building to use as a studio and hired a group of assistants to help him with PTSD Radio and Fuan no Dane, his other horror manga series. I apologize if you've already heard this story, but it does tie it to the manga itself. At this new place, Masaaki Nakayama rented out several things began to happen to him and his assistants. There was even a broken shrine nearby that seems to have brought them bad luck. The assistants would hear tapping and scraping and even see shapes move in the shadows. Some of them even began to feel ill and altogether quit. Masaaki Nakayama began to grow sick himself, eventually ending up in the hospital. He was diagnosed with a stomach condition that I won't go into to respect his privacy. However, this series of unfortunate events led to PTSD Radio entering an eternal hiatus, or at least that is the general fan consensus. Regardless, however, of the story's background, it is still totally worth reading. Some of this mangaka's creatures could easily exist in the back rooms of liminal spaces. It is so well illustrated, and the stories, though loosely tying into each other, all revolve around a certain entity named Ogushi-sama. I won't tell you what Ogushi-sama is or how it ties into the tale, but it does become fairly obvious what's going on once you delve deeper into PTSD radio. The chapters are like radio dials, each chapter being a different knob. At first it seems like a series of vignettes, but you soon realize they begin to tie back into one another. You meet certain characters again and again throughout. Others are one and done. However, it does not make it any less terrifying to read. I read mostly at night because I work during the day, so it's close to my bedtime when I'm sitting down to read this bizarre story. Some of the faces you witness when you turn the page are enough to inspire nightmares. I can see someone getting genuine PTSD from this tale, though that would be someone who is unfamiliar with horror and doesn't have the palate for it. As a seasoned horror fan, this story still took me by surprise. I had heard of it before, years prior, and knew it was supposed to be pretty dark. However, how suffocating, I had no idea, until I started it for myself. Anything that is said in relation to Masaaki Nakayama's reasons for ceasing work on this story is purely speculation, but it does seem reasonable. PTSD radio got to him. It's difficult to exist in a state of constant anguish and misery and not be affected by it personally. 
As someone who has heard tapping in the middle of the night and phantom footsteps, and even heard plates shatter in the kitchen, yet there isn't a single piece of anything broken anywhere, I have no doubt the assistants witnessed the strange phenomena they claim to have seen. I hope this doesn't make you disinterested in this story. I know it sounds like I'm making it out to be the scariest thing ever. It is pretty miserable, but it's also enthralling. I wanted to keep reading to see how this story would wind itself into the next part. I wanted to see how things would turn out as we dug deeper into the lore of this punishing existence. It's so richly detailed, so wonderfully rendered, that you can almost feel the presence of the maligned entities that exist in this fractured world. However, it is still only a story, something made up. There are worse horrors committed by living, breathing human beings than by anything paranormal. There is even a line that goes throughout the whole volume, something like a poem or a saying, little white letters at the end or beginning of each new chapter. A black blob takes several chapters to fully reveal a face, giving glimpses of shapes until we get a full visage like a camera taking stutter shots of an approaching threat. In these frames, we even witness a young woman form many different facial expressions ending in a horrifying one that reminded me of Yelena from Attack on Titan. I would go so far as to call this tale a masterwork, and I kind of hate that I've been using that term often lately, but I do genuinely believe each of the titles I've branded as such is definitely a masterwork. This is the first time I've been completely horrified and mesmerized by a horror story since seeing The Sixth Sense in theaters something like 23 years ago. I'm surprised PTSD Radio hasn't given me nightmares because it is 100% nightmare fuel. It doesn't pull a single punch. It basks gloriously in its relentless misery. And even more subtle moments are quickly upended by something truly horrifying waiting around the next page turn. Please do not sleep on this story if you like horror or just like reading screwed up manga. Especially now that it's available in an omnibus. There is no better time to get your hands on PTSD radio. So I hope that you have enjoyed this video. I hope you've enjoyed our time together. It feels wild, you know, like just going, I know I've said this already earlier in the video, but it feels wild, you know, going into 2023. And uh, one of the biggest things that, one of my biggest goals, I think, for this year is that I want to step up my creation game. And uh, there's a lot of stuff that I want to do and there's certain projects that I have planned and things that I want to try to work with going into 2023. I feel fortunate enough that I, that I have been able to essentially build a community and that if people have subbed to me and people continue to sub and I'm really hoping that we can actually, you know, like get up to like 500 subs this year. I'm not like expecting this channel to blow up and, you know, for me to have like thousands of subs or anything. I feel like I've kind of at this point accepted that this is pretty much just going to be like a small channel. I'm kind of cool with it. You know, like I like, I like that it's a small channel because as it gets bigger and more and more people come into it, I feel like I'm inevitably going to end up having to do more work. You know, I'm, I'm already doing a lot of work for this channel. Like I take this channel extremely seriously and like I put a lot of time and effort into this. I spend literal hours of my life, you know, making videos for this channel. And I, I'm not, you know, saying that that I'm not taking it seriously now. I just mean like if it became like a thing where like it became like a huge channel, I would have no choice but to really like invest even more time into it. But like, but I do enjoy making videos for this channel. Like I like, I like entertaining you all. I like hanging out with you all. It, it does fill the void. I generally, for the most part, like I am a super depressive person. I've suffered from anxiety for a long time and you know, it, it messes with me. It messes with my, my psychology, with my, my inner workings and whatnot. And you know, being able to do this and talk to you all and, you know, you know, hang out or whatever, it does mean a lot to me and it feels nice to know that there's people out there that care about my opinion and that want to hang out and want to see what else I have to bring in the future. I have a lot of stuff that I want to share with you guys coming up. I've got a video about lewd manga that I'm going to be dropping. I don't know what. I still have to read like two more volumes, but once I read those volumes, I'll be dropping that video. And then I'm I'm working through Berserk right now. I'm like almost halfway through it, but these volumes are like really big. These are like 600 and something pages, almost like 700 pages. But I am on volume one now. I've officially started it like I think December 39th, either that or like January 1st. It's when like I officially started reading this and I said I was going to save it for the end of the year and I did. 
because uh, I wanted to start reading this for 23 and I wanted to start doing videos about it in 23. I wanted my channel to grow a lot more before I started doing videos about Berserk because I didn't want to make videos about it and have them fall on deaf ears. And now that the channel's grown a bunch, I feel like this is a good time for me to you know, start doing videos about this and I'm going to be doing several videos about Junji Ito coming up. I'm going to be doing one that is both Junji Ito, uh, Osamaru Furuya, and I'm also going to read uh, the, the Osamu Dazai novel all of them sharing the same name, which is no longer human. I'm going to be doing a video about all three of them. Uh, compare and contrast. That's probably going to take a while because it's going to take me a while to get through the book and get through the two mangas. And yeah, I want to compare and contrast them. I want to do more like diverse things on this channel and not just do the same thing over and over. And yeah, I got a lot of other stuff too that like I, I, I have like a list of things that I want to do. And it's just for me, it's a way to, to keep progressing and to always have something new to bring to the table. And I feel like hopefully you will all appreciate, you know, where I'm going this year and what I have planned because I always have something or other in the works. Even if I'm not able to consistently drop a video every week, I'm still going to be dropping videos because there's always, I've like, I'm already right now sitting on like six or seven different ideas, but it's just, you know, finding the time to execute them. That's the real issue. So yeah, there is an endless stream of things that I want to do. So please stick around. This channel is not going anywhere. So if you don't see me for a couple of weeks, it's not that I quit. It's just that like I got, I'm busy and I have like a lot of stuff going on, but, but this is like a super, this is like a really big priority to me. This channel means the world to me. And I'm glad that you've hung out with me, that you stuck around, that you came, you saw, and you conquered. <laughs> we came, we saw, and we conquered. All right, that's all I have for you. Please read this manga if you haven't already. I think Volume 2 will be coming out pretty soon. And that's it. That's all I have for you. Please, as always, take care of yourselves. It's been real. Until next time we meet. By the hands of God, I stand as a wrench between your wheelie cog. Fastening my belt, bracing myself to withstand against all odds. Himself shatter on his battle ready, murder dogs. Rip the skin off your horses, triumph is master sorceries. Lethal forces, the failure of your ambitions is more painful than divorces. Smash his own piece on the doorway when the door hits, that's it. Call it quits. Zipped up in plastic, cremated, melted like elastic. Dreams don't mean shit. In this life, they don't exist.